So this is what took place the day we left. Yep. So we woke up early because we had a call No, we had a we had a evening. Is that evening? Do you consider that evening? Yeah, we had a day flight. We had a day flight. But we had to go to above rocks. We had to go somewhere. Yeah. So in the morning or whatever, you know, we packed and getting ready and all this extra stuff. So Mrs. Mother here decided. To go, go wash the dishes. <laughs> to go wash the dishes. And then you tell your partner. Okay, so I'm there, I wash the dishes, and so I'm about to rinse the dishes. Then I see something start jumping up, like, oh my god, what the hell? So I panic and I reverse. Ruby, Ruby. Ruby, Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was a tadpole. A what? A tadpole. Like a frog a tadpole is a small frog. Just say a frog. It's not a frog, it's a tadpole. A frog and a big one. Frog is frog, it doesn't matter. No, it the size. doesn't. No, it doesn't. Just like you have baby, you have chicken chicken. Frog is frog. No, it's not. I, I anyway, a tadpole. One little frog. baby frog. Frog, exactly. Okay. So don't let me pass away by now. So my mom was in the kitchen with me too. So when Mr. the Frog, I got some salt. I went in the cupboard and I get some salt and I started throw the salt on the, 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 the frog. The frog now dissolved. The frog wouldn't have dead. So I said, this is not normal. So anyway, we get some vinegar. We throw up on the frog. Remember, I said, I want to smell something. So you know, it's still a jump all around the place. Not dissolving. We get bleach. It not dissolves the same way. Throw salt again, it wouldn't dissolve. I think we throw hot water, it still wouldn't dissolve. This is a that's a jump, jump of life. Still, with all I'm doing, like I almost use half um, a bottle of salt, and it's the same thing. It doesn't dissolve. Jump up, jump up, not dissolving. So, my mother now lift up, she stop praying, you know, and say, Whatever you is, to try go back. And I'm like, Go back to the sender. Because it's not normal because if you throw salt on a frog, it's supposed to dead. So anyway, she took up the um the cover in the kitchen sink, you know that drain or something that's something that way you cover the sink. sink with, the sink, right. Why me feel like a reach? You go across the road and go over this one. Yes. So Oh yeah, you go up more. Right up to the next turn, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when we do that now, we throw water now, hot water down there into that thing and we give it about five minutes. And then we take the knife and push him down inside of the inside of the sink. It would have dead for nothing. So what y'all think? Obia or not? Or is a mind thing? Or is the frog just strong? Because the frog wouldn't dead and me no know. Then after that. I'll tell this part. Tell the rest of the story. This is another story. This one was crazy and out of hand for no reason. No reason at all. Yeah. Huh? So we at the airport. From what y'all know, Jamaican people like feisty and they they rude. Just because you know you don't have to be rude to everybody, but they're very rude and disrespectful. So you know we at the airport, blase blase. For one, we got to the airport late not too late but we got to the airport just in time if, if it was full we would have missed our late. flight yeah but yeah we, we basically went to the airport late and mind you we brought a, a whole suitcase with just sea moss it's like you think I could this yeah what you call oh, it the police it looked like i'm they're probably gonna think it's some type of drugs because the way how it was in the packets and stuff it was it was a plain packet. It was just in a plain pack, but yeah. the way how it looked, it didn't look like it, it not look like drugs. That's um, Irish mash. It's Irish mash, but it's not made. You have to make it yourself. Right. But they probably thought it was some type of drugs or something because the system wasn't like when you scan it through the thing, it go beep 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 or something like that. Something like, I don't know. I guess they pick up something because while we were um waiting to board Didn't the finish. plane. Okay. So boom boom, we got to the airport. 
suitcase, everything checked in. We walk all the way upstairs, all the way. To gate seven. To sure. gate seven. With a plane. With a team yes. over here. Uh-uh, yeah. who you blowing? You better you wait. Know, exactly, you see the indicator. Why are you driving so close behind me? Crusty self. Anyways, back to the story. So, we was about to, literally about to go on the plane. Literally walking to the line, about to get on the plane. I hear the microphone. Na, 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 na. Please report. Please report something, something, something. So then, you know, I went with her. And then... Cause mind you, our flight leaving in the next couple minutes. Oh, that car is cute. Yeah, I'm trying. My favorite color. Mm -hmm. I get sidetracked so easily. Anyways, so we was walking back, walking, speed walking. Just was so tired. I had to go all the way back that way, like a long way, and then we had to come all the way back downstairs to where the security was. That's when they took us to this room, I guess. They had to open the suitcase in front of us just in case anything or whatever. Well, not just in case anything because let's say it was really drugs in there, they would basically arrest her. Basically. Let's say it was the police. There was so much police and securities and stuff. And I'm just looking like, first of all, y'all do too much. But that's their job. Anyways, so boom, boom, they checked the suitcase. First of all, she was already mad because. Like, why are you doing this? How you live in Jamaica and you don't know these type of things, you know? So, we got down there. They opened the suitcase or whatever, checking it. They asked us what we had in there. And it was like, whatever that was in there, then... It was more stuff, but we couldn't really know because when we was um, weighing the suitcase and stuff, all of our suitcase was over full. So, we had to take out something, stuck it into a carry-on and extra stuff, all this extra stuff. So we didn't really know exactly what was in it, but I would know it was a whole bunch of sea moss, Irish mash, no, no, check stuff like that. And then we walking back out, cause you know we basically got a, you know that little scan thing that you walk through, and if you have anything, it's gonna beep. Yeah, so we have to walk through that. So the Jamaican lady was already the one who worked at the airport. I think she like a secure. I don't know what she is. An assistant something something so she was like she was, she was basically she started with my mom and they was basically arguing from when they was checking the suitcase and my and i'm just like okay 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 so then yeah like i was saying i was walking through the thing and then it didn't be it was it wasn't beeping and then the lady Another lady told my mommy to walk like they said go. That's when, I, I don't know if we went too fast together. That's why I started beeping. I don't know what happened, but it was just beeping. Then the Jamaican lady was like, what she said? Oh, she's beeping, let her come back. So the security guard said, no, she's good. Is it? Yeah, but Barbara said so she was arguing with me before. Because, I said that, oh, yeah, okay. Lady. Good. So yeah, yeah. she basically, was saying, oh, we gotta go back, blase, blase. So then what she did now, she um, she went back. And then she walked through again, and she lifted up her whole shirt like this, so and so, we have nothing, da 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 da. All you see is all her, her bra and her titties just, nah, 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 nah. I'm just like, fight, 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 fight. Listen fight. guys, I wanted to fight that girl so bad. Because I'm not beeping number one. I have nothing on me, nothing. I think mm -hmm. I'd already taken off my watch and everything from before. So there was nothing on me beeping, but she just had a pick for me. So me have to just lift up and show and say, hello, me now carry nothing with a beep. Because obviously she wanted to think that I had drugs on me or something. Because of the stuff that she seen in the suitcase. She was just looking for some freaking story for go run with. So she did get the wrong person. So me did one beat it in the airport. And yeah, we would have been stuck in Jamaica. No, I was gonna let y'all go because I was prepared. My planning up. When they call me down, me say for whatever reason them I call me for. Which me know me they clean still, but just in case them feel like them want hold me for something. I was gonna let you all go back and then because I told my mom don't leave because she's a lawyer. So I said stay. 
because if me are gonna need somebody to bail me, just don't leave the airport. Then give them the story now what happened oh, at the airport. And then what happened after yes. that? Mind you, this I, I think this is based off what happened when the frog came and is it obvious or not? Just think about it. So boom boom, that same day, my auntie, her car couldn't start. Her, at her the car airport. couldn't start when she was supposed to go back home from the airport because we drove in separate cars. Me and her drove in the same car. My sister drove in my auntie car. So her car couldn't start at all. The battery died or something. I don't know what happened. It just couldn't start. Then now my grandma left, been left, and going back to help her. And she got no. Help. She wasn't helping her. She, I thought she was going to go help. No, her. there's this man that broke down at the airport. So she was going back to help. King Arshay. One moment. Okay, so I guess she left to go help. She she was helping somebody else who car was broken down. Correct. Yeah. And then who did she hit? Um. Somebody else. No, she hit like. Probably those um, things at the side. Cones? No, yeah, like the cones, what the concrete cones. So basically, she she hit something. Basically. And yeah, that's what happened. It was just a crazy and weird day. And then we came here, and everything was okay. Right? Yeah. Everything was fine when we got here. But yeah, what y'all think about that story? You think it's a coincidence? Or somebody tried to do something to us before we left? You know, this is why you don't tell people when you're going somewhere and when you're leaving. Because you got people who don't like you and who uh, bad, bad mind. mind. Who bad mind. So this is why I don't tell people your business because you never know who to trust. Yeah, it could be your closest friend next to you. Don't can't really trust people. So yeah, that'll be the end of this story. If I have any more interesting stuff, then I'll do another story time. So yeah, please like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on your post notification. Excuse me. You see me talking, right? Tell Siri that. I'm talking to Siri. Siri. Oh. And I know she better talk again. Oh, like I was saying. Yeah, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on your post notification. Run Don't go over to roll with you, Geneva. You gonna wait till I say it? No, no, I've them for run go. Alright, tell them now. Gosh. Siri, shut up! <laughs> Don't for, don't forget to go subscribe to Rolling with Geneva. So why you can't tell everyone? And go turn on it? your post notification because that's the the better way to say it. Run go over there. You go subscribe and turn on your post notification and like. Let her know life with Kelly sent you. And go tell your friend. Go tell another friend and share it to everybody. Okay, bye. Hi.